And more from Mont Pleasant Middle School tonight. Parents of students there still mulling over that discussion last night about what to do to curb the violence at the school. The district admits that it needs help to change the culture of fighting that might exist within its walls. And it says it needs that help coming from parents. Now, after voicing their concerns, some parents say they're not so sure that that can actually happen so fast. Our Matt Markham is live outside of Mont Pleasant Middle School tonight with more on the story. Hi, Matt. Hi, Dory. And you'll remember there's a parent we introduced you to about two weeks ago who said that she was concerned about what was happening here, so much so because her daughter, she says her head was bashed against the floor of the bathroom in this school, and she took her out of this school because of it. Last night, she went to that meeting hoping to get some answers from the community and the superintendent, and the only answer she says she has for us right now may be to keep her daughter out of this school for good. Someone has to put their foot down with these kids. They, they can't run the place. Vicki Salvo still has her daughter out of Mont Pleasant Middle School, where she says her eighth grader was attacked two weeks ago in the bathroom by an all-girl fight club, which she says also recorded the fight. If it gets to one million hits, they can be contacted and paid for. Leroy Fogel is a community gang investigator who says kids post videos of fights for the notion of compensation. He's trying to figure out if that's the root of the problems plaguing the school or something else. It's not just the kids. I think that there is someone older that knows about this that's steering this to be happening. Salvo says she wants the cell phones out and maybe bring metal detectors in. She also says only one out of the group of girls who hurt her daughter were suspended. The system needs to change the, the school's rules and how strict they are on bullying. Um, that, that needs to change. The discussion of cutting off cell phones has come up before, says Superintendent Larry Spring. They have some pretty valid instructional purposes as well. Um, you know, and teachers have, having kids use them for uh, things in lessons. And the research shows spring metal detectors don't work, so what money the Schenectady District has must be invested in something else. $62 million a year that we're shorted. That's an almost unfathomable amount of money. Whether it's gangs, money, or status in the community gained from fighting, the superintendent says now begins the most difficult task in getting parents and students engaged in change. Everybody puts all this stuff on the table and everybody say they're going to do all these things. So my thing is going to be hold you accountable for what you say. Well, Mr. Spring did reach out to Ms. Salvo this afternoon, and when we had spoken to him earlier in the day, he said that parents, if they have problems with a student at a school, have really a couple of options. But he said, number one, they could be moved to another school within the district. Number two, they could have a safety plan devised for that particular student. And in Ms. Salvo's case, it may be possible that she's able to homeschool her student. Again, Mr. Spring said this is just the beginning of the discussion. But again, you can't leave funding out of that discussion. And he says he wish he had a little bit more money, maybe to put some extra principals or even hall monitors in the halls. But again, this is a discussion that only starts from here. Reporting live in Schenectady, Matt Markham, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Matt. Bullying has been grabbing a lot of headlines this week. We talk